On today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this. It is a Nutter Butter Dessert. It's got Reese's, Reese Cups in it, pudding, uh, caramel, peanut butter, and Cool Whip. And I'm also going to show you how to make this. Ritz Cracker Chicken Casserole. Like I said, tonight's dinner is going to be a chicken rich cracker casserole and a nutter butter uh, dessert. So I'm gonna start with the dessert and I'm gonna show you what it is that you're going to need. You will need a package of nutter butters, a pack of instant vanilla pudding, whipped topping, Reese cups, caramel syrup, peanut butter, and milk. So, I'm going to start off, I've got my casserole dish here, so what I'm going to start off with, with my pudding. Grab my mixer. I got the large box because I wasn't for sure how much of this I would need. Let's empty our pudding. Mix. And it said to use vanilla. I need three cups of milk. And I'm going to need the milk for the other for the uh, potatoes and the casserole. So, one, two, three. Now, let's go ahead and mix this up. I also need to get, well, I've got my pudding mixed up here. I need to get some peanut butter and I need to melt it. Use about half a cup of peanut butter. this in the microwave. Now, what I need to do while that's melting is I got my casserole dish here and I need to, I gotta take my nutter butters. I got the um, double nutty. My son is the biggest fan of uh, caramel so I'm not gonna put caramel on his. I need to put a layer of nutter butters into the bottom of the pan. I need to drizzle a little bit of peanut butter over the top. And a little bit of the caramel over the top. Now, I need to take half of my pudding, put it in here, It'll be about a cup and a half. I need to add half of my whipped cream. I've got one already open, so let me go ahead and do that.
All right. Now, I'm going to take my candy bars. I got the snack size because they were a lot cheaper. They said to use the mini Reese Cups, but they were more than I wanted to give, so I got these. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take four of these and I'm going to crumble it over the top. This will be two layers. I'm going to put a toothpick in the end that doesn't have the caramel. Right, let's start the process all over again. Layer of Nutter Butters. Drizzle our peanut butter. Now this is not a frugal recipe at all, believe me. Our pudding. Okay. Now, our Cool Whip. Finish up this one and I'll open up the other one. There we go. Now, for the final touches. Let's crumble up some more Reese cups. Wash my hands. That's what it looks like. We'll stick a couple of toothpicks in this end so we'll know that there's no caramel. So there's our dessert. We'll put this in the refrigerator. For our Ritz cracker chicken casserole. I bought this rotisserie chicken because I just didn't want to cook a chicken. And, you know, they're sometimes they're just as cheap. So, I'm going to go ahead and take the meat off of this. So let me go ahead and take the meat off the mm, box. Okay. I've got my chicken. Put it in my casserole. And I have a family size can of cream of chicken soup. And I'm gonna pour about, about a quarter of it with milk. Just so I can get all of the soup out. 
about a quarter of the can. Now, to that, I am going to add It says a cup of sour cream, but I'm not going to use a cup because my husband doesn't like a whole lot. So I'm going to use about half a cup. Now, I also need half a teaspoon of onion powder. of garlic powder. And salt and pepper to taste. and mix it up, give it a good mix. You don't wanna bite into a clump of this and a clump of that, so give it a good mix. And I will put the recipes in the description. Now, rich crackers here and what I need to do is I need to crush them these are the small packs so I'm not sure how many I'm going to need but crush them up pretty good you want to cover it today's the day my finger doesn't want to work I think I'm only going to need two or one large, regular size sleeve. Okay, now I have poppy seeds. I don't know that poppy seeds add anything. I just put it, I just like it with poppy seeds. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of poppy seed over the top. And I have a stick of melted butter that I'm just gonna drizzle over it. And that's what it looks like. Then we'll put it in the oven and bake it. I've got my oven on 375, preheating. And I think what I'm gonna do before I put this in the oven is I'm just gonna sprinkle just a little bit of sharp cheddar cheese on the top. Not a whole lot, just a little. Just enough to give it a little bit of sprinkle. Let's go ahead, put this in the oven for about 25 minutes. Then I'll check it. Boil a cup and a half of water and some salt. I need some butter. Of course, I mashed potatoes. Milk. 
while this is finishing, I'm going to get my chicken out. That's what it looks like. Ow. Turn it off. Put the potato rice. And our milk. So there is what Chris's looks like. Chris is going to give us a taste test. It's his rich chicken casserole. Rich cracker chicken casserole. He likes mashed potatoes. That's delicious. Very good. Very good. Now try your dessert. Already? Yeah. Just give it a try. You may not even like it. Probably very rich. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Is it's it? really rich, though. You wouldn't want to eat, uh, you know, more than that's going to be plenty. Because it's really rich. So, which do you like better, the dessert or the meal? Um. I don't know. Both? I can't. <laughs> so you give it a thumbs up? Having one without the other would be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Do you give it a thumbs up? I give it a thumbs up. So now I'm going to try it. As you can see, it's steaming. It's good. Now for my dessert. Mm-hmm. You're right. It's very rich. But it's really good. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you give these a try. Don't forget like to subscribe hit that notification button share my video see you on the flip side bye